The top spin wob is a completely different animal than the backspin wob. The degree of difficulty is much, much higher. And really, I would, I would classify this as an offensive shot, whereas a backspin wob is pretty much purely defensive. You, you could use it to hit an offensive shot, but usually you're pulling it out when you're stretched out a little bit or out of position or just being pressured in general. The topspin lob you can also hit while being pressured, but because the degree of difficulty is so much higher, I feel like it's, you're pretty much always going for an offensive, it's an offensively minded shot because it's just a very difficult shot to execute consistently. And we're gonna talk about why, and I'm gonna show you exactly what the variables are that make up that toughness, that, that difficulty level. So, as far as the framework is concerned, very much like the, the backspin lob, the topspin lob has the same basic framework of a topspin drive, topspin ground stroke. You're gonna begin with the same setup, which is nice because you get to disguise this shot. On a backhand or a forehand where you hit a backspin lob, it's not as disguised. People know you're gonna hit some kind of not necessarily defensive, but you're not going to go for a big offensive shot with an open racket face. So it's nice to be able to disguise it with the take back. You're going to have the same setup, take back with the racket, and you're going to have the same follow through. The difference, again, lies in what happens right around contact. The two variables are exactly what angle the racket face is at as you make contact, and exactly how steep you're accelerating up towards the ball. And I'll try my best to explain this to you succinctly. Basically, there's two different flavors of topspin lob. There's a flavor that is moderately hit. You're not going for a huge topspin. You're just kind of guiding the, the ball up and over with a moderate amount of acceleration. And then there's a much more aggressive one where you're really spinning the ball heavily. You're trying for a big arc and you're really going, it's really a purely offensive shot where you're trying for a winner basically with heavy, heavy topspin. The shot that's more moderately hit, you need a little bit more open racket face than on your typical topspin ground stroke. That's what's creating the arc. That's what's creating the lift and the curve of the ball to get over your opponent's head. So you'll set up as you normally do, drop the racket as you normally do, but you'll just open the racket face slightly and accelerate the racket, I would say, slightly carefully. I don't like the word careful, but you're not going to really go through it aggressively. You're going to lift the ball up with some topspin and kind of gently topspin it over the top of your opponent's head. That's flavor number one. Flavor number two is much more aggressively hit, and on that shot our racket face needs to be more closed, and we're going to get the height, we're going to get the arc by really vertically accelerating the racket very, very aggressively. So you'll drop the racket lower than you typically do, and then come up very steeply, you see from the side angle, pass the ball aggressively to hit it up into the air with heavy, heavy topspin. So that shot will have a more closed racket face and a steeper attack. The one that's a little bit more moderate will have a slightly more open racket face and more of a traditional or regular upward attack towards the ball. Both will have topspin, but one is much more aggressive and is quite honestly much more difficult to hit. And you'll see us practice both of them. Ira's actually going to come in and, and hit some of those topspin lobs. I'm going to show you exactly how to experiment so that you can get a feel for these shots. It's different from a backspin lob, but these still are feel in terms of you need just the right angle, just the right amount of acceleration to get the right amount of height and spin to keep the ball in play. You're hopefully getting the idea here how this is much more difficult. It's not nearly as straightforward as the backspin lob, but with a little bit of practice, I know that you can learn how to do it as well.